So, FIFA 23, I've actually not done a video about 23 leaks in about two months here. So, a lot of information has come out through the woodwork in the last couple of weeks. And let's go into every single piece of information that we have. This is mainly about FUT, but some things are about brand new teams. It's largely FUT here. So, if you are here for pro clubs, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but EA doesn't care about pro clubs okay just we already know that so don't expect much about that if you guys do enjoy smash a like and also we are so close to 300,000 subscribers we are 7,500 away from it now we're gaining like 100 200 subs a day it's been absolutely incredible your support to the channel so if you guys can hit that subscribe button then that would mean the absolute world so with that said let's get stuck in yo do you play fifa 22 yeah. Is your team bang average? You absolute pathetic piece of- You saying that to the viewers? No, obviously. Ah, okay. I mean you. Do you face teams like this? You can't keep getting away with it! Do you know there's a way to get coins? Why are you shouting at me? <laughs> then go to youcevive.com for the cheapest and most reliable place to buy your coins on FIFA 22. Link is down below in the description. And also use code VISA at checkout to get a discount. There's been a lot on Twitter. And make sure to tell me down below which part of these leaks do are you the most excited by? or not excited by? Does it really make you care? Are you a person that smashes out the game every day? You guys are really into FIFA? Or you guys are kind of like on the outskirts of it and you're kind of like peeking in and looking, thinking, okay, what's the new FIFA? What's it looking like? And will this intrigue you to give it a go again? Do you think it's good for the game or bad for the game? Give me your thoughts down below in the comments. But lads, let's get stuck into the first tweet here with five separate bullet points. Are you ready? By FIFA 22 News, this was out um, three days ago, saying, <clears throat> you ready for this? No position change cards. That in a new game, players will have their primary position and their secondary position. So, they were ha so for example, they gave Cancelo, that can play as a left back or a right back. So let's say in career mode, if you have like a card that can place a striker and also a left winger. For example, Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane can play as a striker or a um, center forward or a left winger or left forward, right? So they'll have those two separate positions. Another one could be, for example, a human son. He could play probably as a cam as well, alongside also playing as a as a left mid. So you'd be having players having different positions. I think another example that I've seen was like icon cards. So Ronaldinho can be a left winger or a cam. That's a very common example that people give. But there could be situations that you may have a guy who is a center back but is also a DM. Like Sancho. Sancho can be a right mid or can be a left mid because he's played there in real life. So this is going to be a situation which may massively impact how squad building works. Works. And alongside that comes into the next point, which is the chemistry system has been completely we we worked we worked reworked and replaced with stars, which I believe will be a three star rating, so one star, two star, three star, and every nation slash league links to every nation slash league, so you can have a team. Of anyone. You could have Eredivisie players linked to a Premier League players, linked to a Bundesliga players, linked to a Serie A players, with any nation. And chemistry is probably going to be something along the lines of PES slash eFootball, whatever, however you want to call it. That the more that you use the players, the better chemistry they may get. Or you may have certain managers that may give players a certain boost due to a play style. There could be other ways you can do this, but essentially squad building will be completely changed for next year. Do you think that this is a good thing? Because one massive part of the game and of FUT is the squad building element. How to fit players into a team with the right chemistry. Now, if there is no chemistry, really, when it comes to actually linking players, you could have a a forward three of Mbappe with a I'm thinking of a guy that's not messy your name out. Um, I guess Ronaldo. So you have Ronaldo and Mbappe as two strikers, right, in a 4 4 2, and they can be linked together perfectly fine with this very own chemistry system. We're going to learn more about what it really is. If it's, is it to do with managers? Is it to do with playtime? Is it to do with the play style? But this is what has been linked for next year, and it does seem like. I mean, at least they're changing things. Like, it won't be the same game as we always get. So I can't really say to EA that they're doing the same thing because this is 
this is something new. This is something that will dramatically change how the game is played in terms of how to build your team. So, fair play to them. I don't like the fact that he banned chemistry. It was way better that you had to work a way to link your players to get them into one squad. Now you can just stick 11 randoms in the squad and it's fine. It just killed one aspect of the game. Ryan says in response, build your ultimate team, but they cap you for picking players that match. Why shouldn't I be able to match my favorite player because he don't play in the same league or national team? I do kind of feel like how people actually build teams nowadays is just kind of a mess anyway. People like have the 4-5-1 and most people can realistically link a lot of players. On the next tweet, we got ourselves here. FIFA 23 news again and we got five more bullet points. We got here, crossplay in all game modes, including FUT, so that will include pro clubs. Oh, wait, it says it uh, not on PS4, Xbox One. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess it'd be the same as always because I think Xbox One and PS4 is on their own, is on their own server anyway, so I don't think that really changed that much. However, huh, okay. The World Cup DLC returning, so that would be the the World Cup, the actual World Cup, and also the Women's World Cup, uh, and that's been both confirmed. So the, the Women's World Cup is in the summer of 2023, and of course we all know that World Cup is in the Christmas and the winter time of FIFA 23 as well. So, yeah, um, that's both coming. And um, that'll be like the normal FUT stuff that we got back in 18. There won't be anything really special there in terms of like its own standalone game, sadly. Um, I wish they would, but let's be real, they just aren't going to do it. So, yeah. Um, Juventus as well. P P RIP Piante Calcio. Um, if you're a Juve fan, I'm sure you're absolutely buzzing. You get your own kits and your own stadium in there. So, Juventus, they will be, they will be back in the game. And and the J-League, apologies if you're a, a, a Japanese and you play FIFA, but sadly, there'll be no J-League. I think, isn't that Danny Aaron's raging? Isn't his lad, his boy, Mura? Mura? Is, is it Mura? Isn't he still playing in J-League? Isn't he now dead? Oh, RIP to my guy, Danny Aaron's man, because that's going to be absolutely devastating. I hope that he moves to a new team. They still have the K-League, right? He could have moved to the K-League. I, I presume they still have the Korean League in there for next year. Yeah, he could just... Make make a move. Someone said, great, I won't have to play PC Sweats every day. Bring on the console noobs. Is that PC Sweats on FIFA? I think FIFA's like the only game where like there's no such thing as PC Sweats. Is there even like a PC Ultimate Team community? Like on career mode, yeah, because you can mod that kind of stuff. I get that. But it's not like a... No, surely not. There's not like a PC Sweat community for FIFA. That doesn't exist. Or does it? I'm not too sure. Position modifier. So this is the uh, more detailed version of it. So here's like an actual like, sample here. It's got Cancelo, which it says position modifiers, Jeff. but I don't think that actually is a position modifier card. I think that like on their actual profile, it just says that they could play as a left back or a right back. Duncan of a guy confirming online cream that it has been worked on, had recent jobless for it. That was last year. And it says unlike to make it? Wait, what? Unlike to make it? Are you serious? It would likely need to be monetized in some form for it to happen. How would you monetize a online career mode? I'm curious. Would you, in my chat, would you play online career mode? Other little features being added to the new game, being five subs coming to 23. Already added in FIFA Online 4 and following the main league rules. So, of course, in real life, we know that there's a five sub rule for Premier League and they're adding that to it. I don't think that would really make a difference. Um, and most people, I don't think, even make that many subs anyway. Um, I mean, maybe some do in FUT for like, if they're like proper serious about foot champs. Most time I just forget about even making a sub half the time, but would this make a difference? Probably not, but at least it's something. Oh yeah, I just realized, yeah, Kyle Walker would be a center back because he played as a, he played as a center back for England in the uh, World Cup. So he would actually be a center back card in the game. Oh, that's, that's awful. <laughs> oh, no. And to end it off, I can also see that there's apparently, if it's nil-nil and the opponent leaves, that should be a victory to the opponent that doesn't leave. So, if you have a guy playing weekend league and he gives away three wins, well, I say give away three wins, he just leaves at nil-nil and you don't get the win, then you should be able to get that W now, which I think a lot of people I could just hear just right now, just cheering an absolute fucking just joy by the sound of that. Tell me down below in the comments what's your guys thoughts on chemistry and the position modifier stuff. Do you guys think that it would harm the game or make it better? It would 
for me, be more similar to the Pez style, where you can just have anyone in the same team, and that it is more in terms of the more you use them, or the play style that your manager has, therefore the better um, chem that they'll have with each other. That's what we have right now, of course we'll know more information soon, but at least they're changing something. We can't really go on saying that, yo, it's the same year when in reality they actually are changing some things so uh, there's something there right okay so fair enough but what more do you think EA should add to it to make you come back to the game or for you to play the game even more than you have already tell me down below in the comments and I'll see you guys next time for another video and stay safe